penny stocks gross yucky a lot of traders believe that they shouldn't trade penny stocks because of the volatility and the nastiness and some of these companies are awful companies and don't deserve to be publicly traded at all but the penny stock market offers us the greatest advantage in the stock market instead of trading against large hedge funds we're trading against your average retail trader and that gives us the edge we need in order to be profitable traders take for example this trade that the touchdown trades swing trading chat room took last week in LITB where we made 40% in just a couple days there's no way you could do that trading large caps and see that size of a return on your investment. Yes, absolutely. You need to respect your risk management processes and you need to take proper share sizes. You can't bag hold these stocks. We're in these stocks with a trading plan. We know where we're getting in, we know where we're taking our profit, and we know where we're cutting our loss if the trade doesn't work out. If you just jump into these penny stocks and try to hold them forever, you will lose. You will 100% lose money, and that's not what we're about. This is about making money, not losing money. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top penny stock in the market right now. It has huge potential. This penny stock has been beaten down. It is an American cornerstone and it has been beaten down into a penny stock. The market cap has been slashed in half and I think we're ready to swoop in, buy this thing at an extraordinary price and ride this thing back up. So let's get into this and talk about the top penny stock in the entire market right now. What is up my trader homies, it's your boy Kevin. This is Touchdown Trades. If you're new to the channel, we talk about the hottest stocks in the market every single day, penny stocks and large caps. So if that sounds like something you're into, consider subscribing. Also down below, check out the two week free trial of our swing trading chat room. There's not many, very many swing trading orientated chat rooms out there with live real time trade alerts. Check it out, two week free trial down below. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the top penny stock in the market right now. I consider this to be the top buy in the penny stock market as of right now. What we're gonna be talking about is AMC. AMC Entertainment, I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. It has been a staple in the American theater industry for over 100 years. But this thing has been beaten down over the last year so bad that it is considered to be a penny stock in my opinion right now. It has a small market cap and it's trading currently at about $5.40. We can see on the chart here that just last, late last year it was trading as high as $20 per share and has since been beaten down very very bad and hit lows of less than two dollars on Rona Rona fears so this thing has taken a beating over the last year and I think it's ready to kind of base out and start heading back up in today's video I'm going to show you why it is the top penny stock to buy right now I'm on their website right now this is a theater company and obviously all hospitality industries have been extremely hurt by the Rona Rona and AMC is no exception it has been shut. The in-person movie theater viewing experience has been closed for the last several months because of health concerns regarding a bunch of people sitting in a movie theater. It's pretty self-explanatory why it shut down. So the last several months, the only thing this AMC has been able to do is shift to on-demand where they're selling movies viewing movie viewings online. And I think this is actually going to be a plus for this company in the long run. And I'll explain in just a second, but we can see they're on demand. We'll go to see all. And basically what you do is you can rent movies that are in theaters online and just watch it at home. All right, so this AMC is opening back up and they're going to entice customers to come back in and watch movies in person by so amc is opening back up to entice customers to come back in and watch movies in theater they're going to be doing tickets for only 15 cents which is really a extremely good deal if you think about it seeing that tickets cost ten dollars a head just a few months 
ago. Movie theaters have taken a hit over the last few years as companies such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu have bursted onto the scene. But there is still something to say about going to the movie theater with your family, getting that popcorn and sitting down and watching a movie that you can't necessarily see on Netflix or anywhere else. So the 15 cent deal is actually number one to entice customers to come back in and watch movies in theater, but it's also to celebrate their 100 year anniversary, I believe they're selling these tickets at the same price that they were sold at in 1920. So it's kind of working out as a 100 year celebration as well as a sales pitch to get customers back into the theater. It's not very often you can invest in a company that you consider to be a penny stock that has been around 100 years. You just don't see it that often. And when I get a chance to buy a stock that's been beaten down that I think is, is worth money, right? This isn't a company that's trash. This company has an opportunity to, to right the ship, get things together, and turn the fundamentals around. And here's where we get to the part where I think the Rona Rona may actually help AMC, help AMC stock in the long run, which is kind of ironic, but I think it actually will. And that's because it forced AMC into a corner to make a deal with Universal. And now, what they're gonna do is they're gonna show movies in the theater, in person, only for three weeks. And after three weeks, they're going to make those new release movies available to be streamed on demand. And that's where the future is headed. And that's why Verona has really helped AMC in the, AMC in the long run, because they were eventually going to be killed by the Netflixes of the world, the Hulus, in the Amazon Prime videos of the world if they didn't make a change and the Rona forced them into a corner. They made a deal with Universal and now they have kind of a, not an advantage, but some of the movies on those streaming services are not the best, right? They don't have the best actors. They're not the newest releases. I, if a movie comes out that I wanna see, I'll pay 10 bucks to stream it at my house, no problem, via this new AMC universal deal that they've made. I'll pay 10 bucks to watch a good movie that's a new release, no problem. And I think millions of Americans are in the same boat as me. This article here says that AMC is not stopping with Universal and they're looking to ink more deals with media companies to do these video on demand services, which is huge news. I think this is the direction that they're going to take. Under this deal with Universal, AMC gets a cut of every single purchase for the video on demand service, which is huge. Somebody rents a video in Asia or China, probably won't be available in China, but Asia, Europe, wherever this is gonna be available, AMC gets a cut. That's where they need to head, and that's what's going to save this company, and that is why I think it's currently a buy. AMC is the first theater to ink this kind of a deal, so that's giving them an advantage. Sure, the other theaters are gonna come in behind them and try to sign deals like this with media companies. The more deals that AMC can get before other theater companies such as Regal and Carmike and those other big theater companies, if they AMC can get a bunch of these deals before these other theater companies finally break down and realize that this is the only way they're gonna survive, that is the best for AMC. Okay, so let's take a look at the fundamentals, the underlying fundamentals of this company. We have the income at negative, negative almost $2 billion, right? But look at the cash they have on hand. They almost have four, $5 per share on hand. This company is worth almost its share price in just the cash they have on hand. So they're gonna be able to weather the storm. This will give the amount of cash that they have will give them time to transition their business model to more of a video on demand business model versus an in-person theater business model and allow them to survive. If they didn't have this cash, it would be a different story, but they got tons of cash on hand which is going to be a foundation for them to build off of. We can also see that the sales over the past five years have increased over 15%, which you wouldn't think that to be true, but it is. And imagine what they can do when they switch over to the video on demand business model. I think that 15% can turn into 
the sales increasing over the next five years by over 20, 30, even 40% which is huge for this stock. All right, so we've talked about the fundamentals. We've talked about one of the fundamental catalysts that I think is going to increase this AMC share price relatively quickly and relatively exponentially. So let's break this down from a technical aspect now and look at the chart. So I got a weekly chart pulled up and we can see that we have a pretty defined level here at the, five, at the $4 level. That's gonna be my risk. So I'm giving this thing a pretty wide range. I'm basing the trade off a weekly chart. Naturally, when I take a trade based off the weekly chart, I am going to be longer than I would if I based a trade off the daily chart or an hourly chart. So I'm seeing this trade as a maybe two, three, even four month trade. I'm gonna be risking off the $4 level and my first take profit won't be until we break this pivot up or north of eight dollars right there like 780 or 790 so i'm risking about a dollar 30 to make over two dollars and 50 cents per share so the risk to reward ratio is there the technicals are lining up with a nice fundamental ca fundamental catalyst which gives us the two criteria that we need for a proper swing trade so four dollars is the risk eight dollars the first profit target and my second profit target will probably be up around this next pivot up over $10 per share. So I do love this AMC trade. I love when I can take a penny stock trade on a real company and I don't have to worry about the company coming out with a public offering to raise capital when I'm holding it. So you just, you'll be able to sleep better at night. And this thing even has a 2% dividend. So what, when can you invest or buy a, a trade a penny stock that offers a dividend. It doesn't happen often. So this AMC is the top penny stock to buy right now. I hope you guys got something from the video. If you did, go ahead and do me one favor and give the like button the old touchdown trades. You know it, you know it, you know it's coming. Snake eye jab in the eyes. Just give it the old snake eye jab in the eyes. And I appreciate all of you guys. I love all of y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace. And don't forget, check out the two-week trial of the chat room down below. Later. Drop.